What happened to the brush thingy? The brush thingy is gone. I don't know. I was gonna put some more. That's sad. Hey guys, it's Stacey and Jesse with Chapter Chicks, and it's author spotlight time. Um, for this, we are doing Cassandra Clare because it was requested by three people. First was Bookishly Meliza. She has her own channel. She's great. She's really funny, and she has her. So go check her out. Links below. <laughs> and then it was also requ requested by Little Black Birdie 33 and Miss Vampire 18. They were confused on the order of the books, and they wanted to have us to help clear that up for them. So that's why we're here. That's what we're doing. Clearing up. Yeah. Ugh. We got our information on Cassandra Clare's website. I'll put a link to that down below. And we also got our information on the Goodreads page. So, mm -hmm. so first, some information about Cassandra Clare herself. Cassandra Clare was born in Iran and spent her childhood traveling around the world. After college, <laughs> she lived in L.A. and New York. And she made her money by working on tabloids talking about celebrity gossip. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And then in 2004, she started to write her first novel, City of Bones. And then Which, she, thank goodness she did. Thank goodness <laughs> she did, because it's so awesome. We, what would we do without Jace? I really do think the Mortal Instruments series is my favorite series. It's uh, one of the all, best. All-time favorite series. Not like favorite vampire or favorite angel. All-time favorite series. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then in 2006, she quit working for tabloids and became a full-time author. So, now th this, okay, this, her series is very strange because she came out with the first trilogy that was supposed to be it. But then it was so good that she wanted to continue on with it. But she came out with a prequel series first that you don't have to read first. But so if you, you want to read them in chrono chronological chronological order, start with the prequel series, which the, is the Infernal Devices series, and the first one, and that is Clockwork Angel, which really good really good i just read it there'll be a review later and it's back and forth on it like some people prefer the infernal devices series to the immortal instruments series i prefer the mortal instruments series and you prefer i prefer the part. mortal instruments although i do like tessa a lot yeah i do too but a lot of people are swinging towards this one now if you want to read them in the order that they came out which is how cassandra claire wrote them and stuff you would start with city of bones which is the first book in the mortal instruments series looks like this has a hot guy on the front of it. The second book is City of Ashes. And then the third book <laughs> is City of Glass. And that's the first trilogy that she originally wrote. And then she came out with Clockwork Angel. And then after Clockwork Angel came City of Fallen Angels, which is the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series. And then the one that just came out is City of Lost Souls, which is also part of the Mortal Instruments series. Right. But City of or Clockwork Prince mm -hmm. came out before City of Lost Souls. Yeah. So what she's doing is she's writing them, the, they release back and forth between them. So if if I was you and I was starting out with the series, I would start with the Infernal Devices series and I would read them in chronological order. You can't though. Why not? City of Pr or Clockwork Princess doesn't come out until next year. I know, but I would read up to date in the Infernal Devices series. If you're just starting right now, Read up to date in the Infernal Devices series, and then start with Immortal. I series. disagree. That's what I would do. If I were you, I would start off and read City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass. The trilogy first. Yeah, and then read Clockwork Angel, then read City of Fallen Angels, then read Clockwork Prince, and then read City of Lost Souls. Yeah, but that's what I'm doing. A lot of people say that you have to read the prequel series before you read certain ones in the Immortal series. So since there's only two books in the Infernal Devices series, it would be smarter, I think, to get them out of the way so you don't get spoiled, accidentally spoiled, in any of the other ones. Like people are saying You can't get to. spoiled, though, in her release, like the way she released them, though. Like, I, I think that it's best to read them in the order that she released them. Because that's the order that she came up with the ideas for them. So if you were going mm -hmm. to read them in Stacey's way, this is how you'd read them. First, you would start off with the Infernal Devices series, which is, this is the chronological order, which is uh, book one, which is Clockwork Angel. The second one is Clockwork Prince. That's the only two ones out in the Infernal Devices series now. Clockwork Princess is supposed to come out, when did you say? 2013. 2013. And then I would read the Immortal Instrument series, which is City of Bones, City of Ash, is... 
ish. <laughs> City of Glass. City of Fallen Angel. And then book five, which is City of Lost Souls. This one I haven't read yet. Now, if you were me, you'd read them in the release order, which would be City of Bones, City of Ashes. Those are all from the Mortal Instrument series. City of Glass, which is the Mortal Instrument series. Then you'd read the first book, the first prequel, which is the Infernal Devices, which is Clockwork Angel. Then you'd go back and read City of Fallen Angels, then Clockwork Print, which is back to the prequel, and then City of Lost Souls. And that's, that's, the order. that's the release order. Yeah, that's the order I read them in, too, but I think it's just easier to do one series at a time. So we disagree on something. So, so, so tell us which one you're planning on doing. <laughs> My way or is Jesse's way? Chronicle, chronological order is the best way to go. Uh, I would agree with time. that if the whole chronological order was out, but City of or the Clockwork Princess isn't even out yet, so you're not going to get to finish that series. And then you're going to start the other series, so you should just do a release order. Well, I think that going back and forth like that is just it's just confusing. Like when your people are in the bookstore and being like, okay, I read this one. Which one was the next one I was supposed to read? I don't remember. Instead, you can just look on the book and see it says book five and be like, oh, well, I read book three, so this is the one that I don't need yet. Mm -hmm. So it's more e easier. Mm -hmm. Disagree. Great. <laughs> it has a couple books that are still in each series that, that are yet to come out. Like I said, Clockwork Princess is supposed to come out in 2013. Mm -hmm. And then the sixth book in the Mortal Instruments series is supposed to come out in 2014, and it's City of Heavenly Fire. Is that one the last one, the sixth one? Is that the last one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we already did this once. <laughs> I know, but it's a shock every time I hear it. <laughs> and then after that, mm -hmm. she has 36 ebooks. For both series, like you know how there's like 1.2, 1.5, all this mm -hmm. stuff. She has 36. So for how much? both the Mortal mm -hmm. Instruments and the Infernal Devices, I don't know how much she has for each. Oh, separately. But she has 36 for both the Infernal Devices and the Mortal Instruments. I think there's 13 in the Infernal Devices, if I remember correctly. That's, That's a lot That's for just nuts. two books. So yeah, hopefully when this, like I said, I've said this before, but hopefully when the series is all over and done with. She'll come out with a big companion book of all those in betweens because I'm not gonna go buy an e-reader just for those books, even though I'm tempted to. Yeah, I'm tempted to too. <laughs> but they're not all just like in between books. Like some of them are like just like deleted scenes or extras, like or le letters. Jace's letter to Clary yeah. and stuff like that. She currently has a manga series going for both the Infernal Devices and the Mortal Instruments. She's got a lot going on. She's got on. some stuff going on. There is no, you're not gonna be left wanting with this series with all the in between. And the prequel and the series and the it seems like she's covering all bases in this. Like seriously, I love the way she's doing this. It makes the world seem more real when there's that much going on that you can have yeah. this much content. Yeah, because instead of just if it was just the trilogy and she stopped there, everybody would have been left wanting more. Yeah, because it's such a great series. Mm -hmm. So she also has a bunch of short stories and what are they called anthologies? Mm -hmm. She has a bunch of short, short stories and anthologies, so we're going to list some of those off, like Zombies vs. Unicorns. Geektastic uh, Vacations from Hell and Eternal Kiss. She's trying to do this without looking, <laughs> and that's why she's laughing so hard. <laughs> You're like, Geektastic <laughs> Vacations like, from Hell. Dun, dun, dun. She has Steampunk, Welcome to Border Town, and Teeth, which are vampire tales. Turn the other chick, magic in the mirror stone, and so Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, so she also has a new trilogy that she is working on called the Dark Artifices. Artifices? I don't know how to say that. But Artifices. Artifices. She has a new series called the Dark Artifices that's coming out, and it's set five years after the Mortal Instruments in the Mortal Instruments world. So we're going to have a prequel series, a regular series, and an elude series. If that's what it's called. If that's what it's called. Whatever. Main character's <laughs> name is Emma. <laughs> what? She knew. She saw that I had my name, my baby she Emma. So <laughs> the first book in that is entitled Lady at Midnight. Lady Midnight. Lady Midnight. And we'll put a link to that below. Links down below. So many links. We're linking the crap out of this place. She is also work working on a new series with Holly Black, and that is called The Iron Trials, but they are all untitled. Ooh, that sounds good. I wonder if it's about fairies since it's probably is, iron since it has iron in it. Holly Black already has a fairy series though. <gasps> is she coming to us? No, she only has the one day. It was so bad that Gita got to meet Cassandra Clare. She I was know. in our area and this is before we knew about she her. She accidentally met her. Like 
she didn't hadn't read her book yeah. yet, and she's just like, oh, that author's here, I'll go ahead and buy the books. And she's like, oh, they look good, and met her, and got her signed, and everything, and we're like, I'm so jealous, we need to steal her copies. She'll never know. No, she won't. We can change her name to Gina. We will change her name to Gina. Just, just for so that. signed books. Yeah. <laughs> then all the other books will be signed to weird strangers named Stacey Aww, and Jessica. No. <laughs> Bad idea. We'll just fight. Fight it out. So we know you guys are wondering whether or not Cassandra Clare is on tour. And the answer is no. She just visited <laughs> some place. <laughs> She's not touring. She's visiting one place. Uh, on July 1st, if you guys are in San Diego, you lucky dogs. Because we will not be there. That's so she not fair. is going to Mysterious Galaxy Books in San Diego. Huh. It will be a mysterious fire at the Mysterious <laughs> Galaxy. <laughs> uh, or we could just go there and visit her, you know. No, nah, that's too far of a drive. We'll bomb it. We're, We're lazy. So we hope this helps. <laughs> <laughs> we hope this made you less confused instead like of probably, more confused. People are going to be like, should I go chronologically like Stacy said or should I read it the release date like Jessica said? The release date? <laughs> no, they're not going to ask that. They're going to say, Jessie knows what she's me, talking about. I'm going to do the release me. date. Don't confuse yourself more. Make it as simple as possible. But then you don't get the whole story. Yeah, you do. Clockwork Princess is not out yet. Well, you're eventually, we don't have the whole story either. Right now, you sitting here do not have the whole story of the yeah. Inferno devices. Are you freaking out right now? I would be if I was reading it in that series and was no. trying to read that that series before no. I read the other series. How many series do we have open right now? But how many series come right after the other? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is just him. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. Okay. We've been done for a while now. <laughs> so, again, yeah, we hope this helps. Uh, we hope we didn't confuse you more. And we hope you guys liked it. And we hope we didn't make too many mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we did, be nice. So, be gentle. <laughs> so, this author spotlight was for you. We hope you liked it. Bye, guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm slob happy. I'm so slob happy right now.